Okay, let's see what else is in my bag of goodies. Start at the end. We've got to think about what you're going to do with the wet film so you can hang it up and dry it. So you need to find a place that is clean and dust free and out of everybody's way and that usually a bathroom is a good place for that and usually a shower is a good place for that. So how do you hang the film up? This is a GoPro mount but you could just as easily use a phone mount for your car, a hands-free phone mount. You stick that onto, your, onto the tiles of your shower. This is a clothes hanger for skirts and pants. These are just metal clips. I've got one and I've pulled it apart and I've added multiple. But when you buy them, they've just got two on them. Okay, a couple of dollars. Stick this on the wall, stick that on there, and that's, that is my film hanger. The only other thing you need are some plastic pegs to hang on the bottom to weigh it down and you're done. Uh, a roll of film's about a metre and a half long, so you need to put this up on the wall. Okay, so that's the final bit. That's, that's your drying sorted. You need a thermometer. This thermometer I got from Kmart for five dollars. It's just a thermometer thermometer, a digital thermometer. I've tested this against a very old Kodak tank thermometer. You can't get these. This was old when I got it 20 years ago. Okay, Kodak stuff used to make really good stuff. I've tested it against this and it is accurate to within about 0.1 of a degree at 20 degrees. 20 degrees, that's the temperature that you develop your film. Film developing is like brewing, cleanliness and consistency. Forget about experimenting, you don't want to experiment with this stuff. You want to know that your film is going to turn out every single time. And the only way to do that is to be consistent. When you're starting out, follow the instructions to the letter. Okay, you need some containers for your developing stuff. Okay, these are containers that I got from the supermarket. These are one litre containers. This only needs 290 mil. A single tank only needs 250 mil. This is a four reel tank, which is really handy. Uh, this needs one litre, so these containers are just big enough for a four wheel tank. Notice that I have marked one dev stop fix and wash. You don't want to contaminate your chemicals at all so you only put dev in dev, stop in stop and fix in fix. I've got another one here that's unmarked, this is for just plain water. Okay. What are you going to develop with? You can use powder developers. I have used powder developers, but liquid developers are so much more convenient. I'm using Triax, so I'm also using Codex developers. HC110 is a liquid developer that will last you a couple of years in the bottle. Okay, so this will last you a couple of years even if there's a bit of air in it. Most other developers, powder developers, once you mix them up, you've got to use them within days or weeks. And if you're an infrequent user, that's a problem, okay? Ilford make a developing kit that has like single use sachets. That's really handy when you're starting out. Developer. Now, stop. Where are we? Fix. Uh, there's a two real stainless steel tank. Developer stop and fix. I'm using Ilford chemicals for the stop and fix. Doesn't matter. Okay? Stop and fix is all exactly the same. What you do when you buy this, this is concentrate. You make it up to the dilution that you want. And here we are here. Stop and fix. Okay? Stop and fix. The stop some people don't use stop, they use a water wash. I've always used stop. It's always worked for me. 
But why do you need to stop by the way? Well, Fixer is your most expensive chemical. Fixer's the chemical that removes the unexposed and undeveloped uh, light sensitive silver chemicals from the film at the end. It's the most expensive chemical. It is, it is acid and film developer is alkaline. So if you mix film developer in with your stop, sorry, with your fixer, your fixer goes off really quickly. So you use a stop bath to neutralize the alkaline developer. And that stops it as well, because you don't want development going on longer than what you want. Okay. The other secret ingredient is, ah, there are my pegs. These are just plastic pegs with no metal. I clip these onto the bottom of the film to hang them down at the end. Ah, one more thing with the, um, one more thing with the developer is with these liquid developers, you're only usually using small amounts. So you need a, a couple of small c cylinders. This is a 25 mil one. This is a 10 mil one. Okay, I got these from eBay. These are about five or six dollars each. These were about five dollars each. Don't bother buying special photographic ones. They're gonna be thirty dollars each. Okay, buy these. These are good. Okay. Um, with everything with photography, absolute accuracy isn't that important. Consistency is, repeatability is. So if with my thermometer here, it doesn't, in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter whether it's, whether if it's saying 20 point naught, it doesn't really matter if it's 19.9 .9 or 21.1, .1, as long as it's always the same every time. And that way I can get consistency with my development. Because what ends up happening is you develop your film, it turns out that you might be overdeveloping a bit or underdeveloping a bit for your style of photography. You can then cut back the development. You don't change anything else. You don't change the temperature or the dilution or anything like that. You change your time. Once everything starts changes, it stops working. Okay. This box, this old esky, and everybody's got an old esky, usually the lid's been lost. Okay, this old esky will be the water bath that we get everything down to 20 degrees C. Okay, that's it, just an esky. Let's go. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fill this up with water at get it to 20 degrees, and we're gonna put our chemicals in it, the stop and the fix, and water. We're gonna sit all, all of that in the bath and we're gonna wait till that stabilizes up 20 degrees. Then we're gonna mix up our developer and run through until then.